Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got a bunch of eye candy. We'll see awesome imagery of the sun, the moon, Mars interior, and the most famous supernova of them all, Cassiopeia A. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find that visually there wasn't much happening. Energetically, there were several small M-class solar flares from the large sunspot group, but they were confined to the local corona in terms of plasma push. The relative calm remains as they turn to face Earth today and tomorrow, and here they are. Huge phalanx on the south. We'll be watching closely today as Earth is in the firing line of the eruptive potential. It is also worth noting, left side on the north, couple more sunspot groups are incoming there. Solar eruption watch is relatively high at the moment. So we go next to the moon where NASA has updated their 2023 lunar south pole animation video where they transform the landscape into a colored elevation table and they identify famous locations via the labels here. Pretty solid detail for a place that is not the earth. Mars is up next, and they have finally gone through excruciating detail on the seismic data from the InSight lander, which happens to reveal clumpy material throughout the Martian mantle. They think it's the remnant of great cataclysm long ago, with potential impactors and pieces of the Martian crust just strewn about the inside. Up next, Cassiopeia A, the most photographed and studied supernova remnant. They have looked at this thing about a hundred different ways, in every wavelength of light, through spectroscopy, and how it's still expanding over time. But this latest study wanted to look specifically at silicon and neon. This is a huge aspect of supernova chemistry. The neon falls inward while the silicon stretches up into the oxygen layer of the star, which is where the silicon dioxide, sand, and glass comes from in a nova. And they found that right before the explosion, they had a wild chemical exchange inside. And it must have happened right before the star went nova. Pretty cool study here, especially since, unlike most astronomical guesses, it does seem like this one is actually correct. Folks, I'm curious if you found last night's video helpful on explaining high-energy proton storms. I am also curious if there are any other topics you'd like to see broken down quickly and simply in this way. Call them out in the comments below. Folks, this month's special issue of Observer Review comes out September 1st. It is about the sun and society, behavior, economics, and civilizational scale changes. Link to sign up is below, and it's the best way to stay updated on critical science each month. Folks, Observer meet up at the ranch tomorrow. Next month, we've got a pole shift conference and Founders Weekend. Dr. August Dunning coming for the Founders event. Then October and November are jam-packed. Top event in October is sold out, but the bigger party may occur the week before during the Colorado Prepper Expo. November 7th and 8th is our next Observer speed dating event. The last one was epic. And then November 15th and 16th, we have the documentary premiere and a pole shift conference. Take care on the website to be sure you recognize those are separate events so you could pick one or pick both of them. But make sure you do the right thing, what you're looking for. Link to everything is below, ObserverRanch.com and the Observer Review e-magazine. And we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.